Hi, it's Wendy L. Diamond with Career Elevation. Today we are going to be talking about what you should not say in an interview, what you can replace that with, and the reasons behind why you probably shouldn't be saying some of these words, phrases, and terms. Wendy, sometimes we might have to ask you to clean the autoclave. Do you know how to do that? Uh, I don't know how to uh, clean the autoclave. I don't even really know what an autoclave is. Instead of saying that you don't know how to do something or that you can't do something, try to work around it. Instead of saying, I don't know how to clean the autoclave, what you can say instead is, I've never been given the task to clean an autoclave. So if you could teach me the procedures, how to do it the way you want it to be done, I'm sure that I could master it. You guys have like a gray office here. Avoid saying you guys. Instead of saying you guys, you can replace that with the team, your team, the employees, the office, the company. Avoid saying you guys. It sounds like you're friends with the interviewing manager and that is not what interviewing managers want. They are not your friends, at least not yet. And they want you to make sure that you are professional. So what exactly am I gonna have to do here? Like spell it out. What exactly am I going to have to do? Sometimes it's really hard to put exact words with what you're supposed to be doing. So sometimes they leave it really vague because you have a ton of different responsibilities potentially. Sorry, what was the question? Okay, now that was a little bit exaggerated. I get it. But sometimes interviewing can be very difficult. I understand that totally understand that 100%. Why do you think I've got this course for you? So if you're struggling with interviews, I want you to bring a notebook, some paper that you can have and write down on. And if you need to, you can even write it down when they're asking the question. This also gives you a little bit more time to formulate a good answer. And it's kind of a win-win. Your brain gets to think a little bit more. You get to write down for an extra five seconds. Um, I know I probably shouldn't say this, but um, my boyfriend's in jail right now, so I kind of have to go bail him out. How long is this meeting going to last? Okay, clearly we're not all going to say that, but try avoid saying anything along the lines of, I know I shouldn't say this, but if you know you shouldn't say it, then just don't that say it. That was a great interview. Thanks so much. Do you have any questions for us? No. I don't have any questions. You should always come prepared to an interview with questions. And you can even check out the link that I have below. It will guide you straight to a PDF, which is called Interview the Interviewer. There are three pages in this PDF full of questions and it even gives you spaces so that you can write down, you can actually print it off and take it to your interview. And it gives you prompts on how to research the company as well. And best thing ever, it's free. So just go ahead and click that link and it will guide you to your dream career. Why wouldn't you, right? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you liked this video, then please like and subscribe because that means that you're showing other people this video. You're giving them a little gift, a little gift to be able to help them rack out their interviews and get their dream job. Wouldn't you want someone to do that for you? So go ahead and hit like and subscribe below so that you're able to get all of the newest videos straight to your phone.